With season ticket sales amounting to a school record for a fourth year in a row, Navy welcomed Towson to Annapolis. And on an otherwise sunny Saturday, the blue and gold stirred up a whiteout. With a pitch for Shun White, a good block by Finnerty. Clears him to the 20, down the far side, 35-40. Shun White in a foot race. To the Towson 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the end zone. Touchdown, Navy. Counteraction to the short side, wide. a pitch to Shun White. Runs it across the 30, a bolt to the 40. Shun on the run to the 50, to the Towson 40 with a cutback. Sliding left to the 30, to the 20. Shun White to the 15, to the 10. Shun White is gone. He's done it again. Senior Shun White exploded for 348 yards, shattering the mid-single game record, setting a standard unequal by any Division I bat in 2008. Navy's offense fell flat after its opening drive resulted in a 7-0 lead. And eventually, the mids fell 20 points behind Temple, necessitating the greatest fourth quarter comeback in school history. Keep your head up, D. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Keep playing. We got plenty of time. Well, maybe not quite an eternity, but the roughly nine minutes remaining were enough for Dobbs to ignite the improbable. First, with his right arm. Ricky Dobbs on a straight drop back. Looks to throw right wing down the middle. Wide open man. Touchdown, Navy. Ricky Dobbs throwing down the seam. <laughs> connecting with P.J. Teal. And then, on fourth down, with his instincts. Dobbs on the play call. Takes the snap, short drop, runs it left. He's hit with a pitch to Katani, who dives for a Navy touchdown! Still, the Owls led by seven, and with less than a minute left, had possession, in position, to put the game away. The Owls are bound for Philadelphia, it seems, with a fourth win overall, and they have earned this victory. Hand off to Griffin, trying to squeeze through the middle, stood up and pushed back. He lost the football! Oh my it's God. picked up by Navy! Oh my God. And on the run, Sobey! To the 20! To the 10! To the end zone! Oh Touchdown! Navy! Why did they hand the ball off? What once appeared impossible was suddenly and shockingly a reality, thanks to the fumble forced by Pospisil. A miraculous recovery by defensive captain Cliff Sovey and a game-tying swing of Harmon's right leg. And when the Owls missed an overtime opportunity, the Mids fulfilled their destiny. I mean, the nose of the football is less than inches, centimeters away from the goal line. Navy seeking victory and a 27 all-tie in overtime. Doyle, the right wing back for the Mids. White, the left slot back. Katani, the fullback. Doyle motions right to left. Dobbs off the fake to Katani. Pointing it left. A Navy touchdown. A Navy victory. More than a sixth win, guaranteeing a sixth straight postseason berth, the 33-27 overtime victory was a triumph of the will and a spree decor that's uniquely Navy's. No time in more than a century of the Army-Navy series had either team won seven straight meetings until this December when a 21st century service academy dynasty continued its reign over its arch rivals. The midshipmen entered their 109th encounter with the Black Knights, bidding for a record 13th straight victory in the Commander-in-Chief series and with it the undisputed championship of academy football for a sixth year in a row. But they did so with conflicting emotions. The annual high of the Army game, tempered by hearts made heavy over the loss of family royalty. With their specially designed uniforms, Navy also wore a reminder of a beloved figure. 48 hours after the loss of the father of a teammate and a friend to all. In a performance dedicated to the memory of Drexel King, the mids dominated their rivals from West Point, from start to finish, in every facet. On just their third play, they struck 
for their first points. Kapanel inside face, pitch left for Shunwine, out of the grass with one defender, down the far side in the clear, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, Shunwine to the 10, to the end zone, touchdown, maybe! A 65-yard dash and a subsequent touchdown catch helped earn White the game's MVP award. Gaining 148 yards, Shun became the first ever Navy slot back to rush for 1,000 yards in a single season. Meanwhile, Katani also amassed 100 plus yards, breaking through the 2,000 yard barrier for his career. And with quarterback Kaheyaku Inhata returning to orchestrate an offense that totaled more than 400 yards, a physical defense spearheaded by junior Nate Frazier and Hospicil punctuated the route with some points of its own. Bowden fields the direct snap, four-man rush, sets up throws, to the near side, picked up by Ramvella, down the sideline to the Army 40, to the Army 30, to the Army 20, one man to beat to the Army 10, goodbye, touchdown, Navy! Junior Ramvella's pick six completed a 34-0 thrashing as the mids flanked the Black Knights for the first time since 1978 and ended the regular season with their first consecutive shutouts since 1986. While Nia Matalolo joined Welsh as a CIC champ in his inaugural year as head coach, Navy seniors celebrated their 33rd career win.